Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil. And we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Guava Mojito. Guava. 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 These cute little guys here. Yeah. Look at these things. They're the perfect fruit, like, to throw at one of those, like, food fights at school. Right? <laughs> right. Yeah, the, the skin is so thin, it's like barely there. It's wafer thin. <laughs> right. It's like a pear, like an overripe pear. Mm -hmm. You know how that skin... You get home and you peel that little tag off that says 5031 pound on it, right. and the whole skin comes off. So then you have to eat it right then. Right. I yep. hate that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, these have paper thin skin, a rind about that thick, quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch thick, and then it's full of tiny little seeds, which you don't really want in your drink no. because they'll drive you insane trying to eat them, right? Mm hmm. But well, this is a nice, tart, tangy fruit. Delicious in a mojito. Mm -hmm. Delicious with the lemon rum that we're gonna use. Rock candy syrup. A little bit of orange bitters. Some lime juice. And club soda. But wait, where's the mint? Aha! Aha! Well, people, people might think that I just forgot it again, right? <laughs> like right. I often do. <laughs> no, but the mint just overpowers the guava in this yes. drink. Yeah. So leave and out the mint that you would have in your normal, normal mojito. And the mint's the bitter, whereas now we got the guava, so that's gonna replace the bitter component. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The guava is more tart than bitter, but it, the same thing. Yeah. It replaces one with the other. Kind of like yin and yang. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start. We're taking um, a fresh guava. Um, you wanna just cut off both ends. And then just scoop out the inside. Inside are these rows of seeds um, encased in this sort of slimy tart pulp. Just kind of take that out, scoop out most of the seeds as you can. And we're gonna put that right into the glass of our Boston shaker. These are the normal guavas that you see. If you come across an apple guava, which is about the size of a Granny Smith apple, mm -hmm. and it looks like a Granny Smith apple, then you want to use about a quarter of um, an apple guave. Mm -hmm. But these small guys here, use one whole one where you scooped out the guts. All right? To that, we're going to add two and a half ounces of lemon rum. That's out of the freezer. There you go. And we're going to muddle that aggressively. you got to really break it apart. That pulp is going to be pretty tough at first. It's almost a little fibrousy, mm -hmm. right? So you got rid of it's like muddling soggy bark dust. A little bit? Yeah. Kind of. It's After you muddle this a while, it looks like cream corn. It does. But you want to push the muddler down as Phil's doing and then just kind of turn it and that grinding, that turning it and grinding it on the bottom helps kind of break down that fibrous little bits. And you want to keep muddling until you don't really feel that grindiness anymore. If you if you don't muddle it enough, it's just gonna um, just be too pulpy. Yeah. It's not gonna release enough of that that tartness that you want for the flavor. I don't know that pulpy is a word. Isn't it? Pulpy. It should be. Yeah. Nice. There we go. All right. To that, we're going to add um, one ounce of rock candy syrup. This is a sweetener. You can use a rich simple syrup or a regular simple syrup if that's all you have. Um, we're going to do lime juice. Oh, we're going to cut lime. I'm a little <laughs> bit off the page here. We're going to take um, half of a lime and cut it into four wedges. Now when we muddle this, we don't want to muddle it as aggressively. We just want to kind of press the juice out. Otherwise, you're going to get too much of that sour to it. All right. Four lime pieces. I'm going to juice those. Good. Yep, and I'm going to add one dash of orange bitters. 
That just gives a little bit more depth to this mix. We'll add ice to that and then shake it in our Boston shaker. Nice. All right. Before we pour that in, I'm going to add to the bottom of the tumbler one and a half ounces of club soda. You don't want to shake the club soda because you're going to get rid of the fizz. You want to keep that in with the drink. Exactly. So we'll pour that in and we're going to dump everything in there. Don't strain it. This drink is unstrained. Just pour that all in together. Nice. Ah. Oh. What a fantastic drink. Nice. We serve this without, without a straw because the guava pieces will clog the straw. Um, but drink it as you would uh, anything else and enjoy your delicious tart and tangy guava mojito. Enjoy. Cheers.